one last thing, just because we talked about it tonight a little, or I saw it in the chat. Um, you know, people talking about the new uh, refrigerants, and what what does everybody do? Like, would you have to have separate gauges for for each one, or you know, separate anything, vacuum pumps, or? Uh, with the uh, the flammable refrigerants, even mildly flammable refrigerants, you will have to have. Well, they say you have to have vacuum pumps and like recovery machines that are approved for flammable refrigerants. Like if you're going with like an R32, which is A2L mildly flammable, or 454B, which is the same way, they say technically you have to have an upgraded pump and recovery machine, which I think most of the ones coming out now are, but I've never heard anything about gauges having to be separated. Well, but it's I'm a, talking about... What I'm talking about is not necessarily the flammables, but any, you know, if you've got all these different options now because you've got some R22 systems and then you have some that, that are R22 retrofit with, a, with an alternative, and then, of course, you have the 410s, and then you, have, you may have, um, you know, some that are using the new ones. So do, do you have to, like, have separate... Uh, instruments for everything just so they don't get mixed or I, I personally would not I, I don't think it's a big enough deal the only cross-contamination you're worried about is oil and I don't think it's significant enough to matter in my personal mm -hmm. opinion and that's something I came across because that was a big deal you know several years ago it's like all right we got 410a now we have to have separate gauges because there's poe oil instead of mineral oil never a big deal and it was just blown out of proportion I, I don't think I would not even worry about that at all, in fact.